5 mistakes when it comes to studying first aid for step 1. I scored 271 when I took the step 1 exam and I know scores don't matter anymore because step 1 is pass fail but getting advice from someone who scored high can possibly help you ace your exam. Before we jump in if you need access to our free USMLE resources or need help one on one from a USMLE tutor check out the links that I'll leave in the description of this video. Starting first aid early on is the first mistake I see many students make because they think that first aid is a studying book so they go to the bookstore and buy it possibly buy it from amazon maybe post a picture on their social media and they start studying and then the shock happens that they're not able to understand anything in that book because first aid in reality is a review book it's not a studying book so you won't find any of the explanations in that book so if you're someone who just finished the basic science materials in their school which are the topics covered in the step one exam you might not have a problem with first aid but if you are like most students who take the step one exam and they start preparing few months to years after they studied these subjects in school you will have very hard time understanding what's inside that book now you might ask well when should i start studying the first aid my recommendation is to use it at least after one round of u world or amboss so after you understood the concepts very well from these question banks you can go ahead and start doing the review book which is first aid but i don't recommend you use a review book at the beginning of your studying unless you have very very solid background from your school. The second mistake is reading without understanding. I've seen students who tell me I've studied first aid and I'm still not scoring high on my self-assessment exams and I ask them did you really understand every single word in that book? They're like no nah, not everything and here you can tell that they were just reading without understanding because every word in that book could be a question you might be asked about and that's why i recommend that you use it after you finish at least the question bank so you understand the value of each of these words especially that the explanation for them and the value of them is not going to be included in first aid and if you're going to end up searching for every single word you see on first aid on google and chat gbt and different resources you're going to be spending a ton of time while on the other hand if you started with your words for example and you studied everything there and now you have some concept that you don't understand you can refer back to your world and in these few scenarios where that concept is not included in your world at all at that time you can search on google chat gbt or get a usmle tutor to explain only the difficult concepts you're struggling with but make sure you do active learning when it comes to first aid and you understand every single word because just memorization will not help you on the exam the third mistake is not giving first aid enough time if you really want to study this resource and take advantage of it you have to give it enough time although it's around 700 pages but each page is very condensed and especially in the beginning you might be spending a whole 12 hour day studying 5 to 10 pages so if you don't give it enough time you will just be reading these pages without any effort to try to understand these concepts without having time to memorize these ideas you understood so when you start studying first aid see approximately how much each page is taking you and after a few days you can take the average of that to get an idea of how long it will take you to go through the whole book very well but one note here is that first aid is not a must when it comes to studying for step one so you might still pass by just studying your world or amboss but in my opinion and the opinion of most people who pass the exam they found it as a useful review resource so if you decide to use it make sure you give it enough time the fourth mistake is doing only one round of first aid once you start studying first aid you will realize how condensed the information are almost everything is high yield because again it's a review book so if it was not high yield they would not have put it in the exam most of the time and if you are like most humans you will forget so doing one round only might not be enough for you to master that great resource but the question comes how many rounds do i need well it depends you know some people might be enough after two or three rounds some people might need five so it's totally depend on how fast you retain the information and also the rounds of revision does not have to be for the whole book so if after the second round you mastered 70 percent of the book you don't have to keep repeating the 70 percent that you already mastered you review the 30% you're having difficulty with so you need to tailor your revision based on what you're comfortable with and the fifth mistake I want to talk about today is putting so many notes on the book I've seen first aids of some students where the whole book is highlighted in so many different colors there is text everywhere that it's almost impossible to read the book so be mindful when you put notes on first aid that you're putting only extremely high yield stuff notes from you world and amboss should be placed as a separate resource because if you end up putting all the information from you world and amboss 
on first aid it's gonna be very confusing and it's also gonna take you so much time to review that book so if you're taking notes from other resources keep them separate and only put on first aid the extremely high yield information you want to put there and i think highlighting is fine especially if you want to highlight the information you need to review more than others but make sure you don't overuse it unless you're like my friend who only likes to study text in color and as i said in the beginning if you are having difficulty understanding certain concepts you need a tutor to guide you through this process help you pick the best resources build the study plans and schedule we have a phenomenal list of tutors who are ready to help you and we trust them so much that we made this service 100% satisfaction guarantee which means if you're not happy after the first hour we give you your money back so if you're interested in learning more about this service click on the link in the card above or the link in the description below and explore the different packages we have or you can schedule a free consultation with our customer support team who can take you through the different options we have and how we can best help you. I hope this video is helpful when it comes to studying from first aid for the step one exam. If you find any value in it, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell sign so you get notified whenever I post future videos on my YouTube channel. And before you go, make sure to watch the video I recorded on how to study step one in four months by clicking here. Thank you everyone so much for watching and good luck on your exam.